Have you ever noticed how all the big airports always get the attention? Well, that changes today. Here's the mid-sized airport you need to know about. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks with Greenergrass.com, and recently on Twitter, I declared myself the unofficial YouTuber of my home airport, PTI, Piedmont Triad International. Now, is this something a person can really do? I don't know. I don't see why not. So I did it. It's pretty cool that a bunch of other people have done it for their home airports as well. But I don't think you're really an, an unofficial YouTuber for an airport until you've made a video dedicated to that airport. And so that's what I'm going to do. Join me. Let's head over there right now. I live in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is located in the middle of the East Coast of the United States. Greensboro is part of the Piedmont Triad, which includes the cities of Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and High Point. Our airport's code is GSO, but it's called PTI, or Piedmont Triad International Airport, to reflect its central location in between these three cities. It's admittedly confusing and even inspired an attempted name change a few years back that didn't take. It was to be called North Carolina Central International Airport. Turned out that was even more confusing, so it's still GSO, a.k.a. PTI. And yes, we are an international airport. There's a customs office that handles mostly international and private cargo flights. We don't have any international commercial service, unfortunately. The airport has three runways, including one that's 10,001 feet long. The airport is undergoing a great deal of renovation, including the construction of a brand new FAA control tower. But let's check out the terminal. Now, the only drawback I know to being an unofficial YouTuber is that I can't go behind the scenes, and there's so much to see back there. It takes a lot to make an airport work. But maybe if this video gets enough likes, they'll make my role official and we can go behind the scenes. Help make it happen. Click that like button. The airport currently has commercial service from Delta, United, American, and Allegiant. At one point in the past, it was a focus city for Continental Airlines. It was even home to one of the smallest airline lounges in the country, an old Piedmont Airlines lounge that American finally shut down a couple of years ago. Our observation room is a great place to hang out. If I get that upgrade to official, maybe we'll have a party in here. Socially distanced, of course. This United the ERJ-145 arrives late at night from Dulles and sits on the ground until mid-afternoon the following day for its return to Washington. Pre-corona, it would probably do, I don't know, five legs in that time. And seeing the airport this empty was pretty sad. And even though flying is going to be a lot different, I'm not sure about you, I can't wait to get back in the sky soon. At least this visit to the airport gave me the opportunity to uh, update my wardrobe. I've flown out of this airport more than anywhere else, and views like this are calling me back soon. This, by the way, was footage from my million-mile flight with Delta, and I thought it might give a nice overview of some of the infrastructure here at PTI. As I mentioned, the airport has three runways. This is 2-3 left, and it's the longest one here. That's the Honda Aircraft Company's manufacturing facility. It's where they build one of the world's most successful, very light jets. More on them in just a bit. Here's HACO. It's an MRO, or Commercial Aircraft Maintenance, Repair, and Overhaul Company. Airlines from around the world, and even the U.S. Air Force, send their jets here when it's time to do major overhauls. There's a Cessna maintenance facility on the property as well. Hopefully, we'll get the chance to see more from each of those companies sometime soon. It's nice to have my head back in the clouds, at least for just a minute. But let's head back to the ground to see more of PTI. Like a lot of airports in the United States, ours is a quasi-governmental operation. It's led by a board who are appointed by elected officials, and they oversee a professional staff who handle the day-to-day -day operations. Before becoming the unofficial YouTuber of Piedmont Triad International, I often thought of the airport, really all airports, only in terms of passenger service. But there's a lot more to it than just ticket counters, gates, and jet bridges. Last year, we averaged about 250 operations per day. Only about 68 of them were commercial flights. Would you believe that more than 6,000 people work on the airport campus today? Let's explore some of the other aspects of our airport. Charter operator Swift Air has a base here. They've got a fleet of 737s and 767s.
Perhaps what we're best known for, though, is our cargo operation. PTI is North Carolina's largest cargo airport. We have significant FedEx operation and are also home to one of the world's only remaining DC-8s. It's operated by the nonprofit Samaritan's Purse, which use it to deliver emergency supplies to disaster zones all over the world. That plane is more than 50 years old. But PTI is not just for passengers and cargo. There's a huge MRO operation here. As I mentioned earlier, it's HACO and employs tons of mechanics and engineers who conduct checks and upgrades and overhauls to airplanes from airlines all over the world. This would be a fascinating place to visit in order to learn more about what it's like to be an aircraft mechanic. It's a vital and complex job about which I really don't know much. Not sure about you, but I sure would love to learn more about it. If you would like to learn more about aircraft mechanics, drop a comment below and maybe we can uh, get their attention. And we can't forget Honda Aircraft Corporation. They manufacture one of the coolest very light jets in the sky, and every single one is assembled right here at PTI. Building jets was a long-time dream of Honda, and it came true right here. The design is unique with the engine mounted on top of the wing, a design that's said to reduce noise and vibration. Now, I have never been on one, but again, maybe we can get their attention. Today, about 140 of the jets have been delivered and are now in operation all over the globe, but each and every one started its life right here. Sadly, like a lot of airports, we're also playing host to a number of parked airplanes. Both Alaska and American Airlines have parked a large number of 737s and narrow-body Airbus aircraft on our airfield. And I can't wait to see these birds leave our airport for parts unknown. Greensboro has about 300,000 uh, people or so. The triad itself has a million. Now there's an airport in Winston-Salem, and I've heard a rumor that there are some uh, United 757s, maybe even 737s parked over there uh, being uh, stored. So let's go check that out. A Little bit of a ride, but uh, let's go check that out. And sure enough, the rumors were true. Here at Smith Reynolds Airport, there were five or six 757s, including a 757-300. Several 737s were parked as well. And what's amazing about this is it's a really small airport without commercial service of its own. There is, however, another MRO here that handles maintenance for United, which explains why these planes are parked here. The runway here, well, there are two, but the longest is only 6,000 feet. I really wish I could have seen the 757-300 leave this place. It would have been pretty amazing. It has since returned to service. But other planes have come back. There are plenty still parked here at Smith Reynolds. So you may be wondering how to become an unofficial spokesperson for your airport. Well, there are no rules. I guess you just declare it on Twitter and that's that. So there you have it, the aviation scene around the Piedmont Triad of North Carolina. Glad to share it with you between now and the next time. See you in the sky.